Hi, everyone. My name is Billy Rao, and I'm a staff scientist on the bioinformatics applications team at PacBio. You can find me on Twitter uh, as the name Nothing Clever. Feel free to contact me with any questions about the presentation. Today, I'll be talking about how we can use HiFi reads for comprehensive variant detection. A year ago, I spoke to you in Leiden about our new preprint introducing highly accurate long reads as a new genomics data type. We later published this in Nature Biotechnology, describing a proof of concept for using these HiFi reads for variant detection in the Novo Assembly. I'm returning this year to give an application update on the practical aspects and our recommended workflows for variant detections with HiFi reads. There are lots of ways to categorize genomic variation, but for detection, it will be easiest to divide them into small variants and structural variants. Small variants include deletions and insertions of fewer than 50 base pairs and single nucleotide variants. Structural variants include de larger deletions and insertions, as well as tandem duplications, interspersed duplications, inversions, translocations, and larger copy number variants. Smart sequencing provides comprehensive detection for all of these variant types. Many studies have shown that when we compare an individual's genome to the reference, we find around 5 million single nucleotide variants, around 3 megabases of indels shorter than 50 base pairs, and around 10 megabases of structural variants larger than 50 base pairs. Short reads miss about 80% of structural variants. Typically, long insertion events, or uh, variants that are in difficult to map repetitive regions. And this isn't really improved by coverage. Uh, for example, here we have short reads at the bottom and we see that they don't really map well to this repeat region. So we miss this 1.7 KB deletion that we can see perfectly in the PacBio HiFi reads above. We actually even see two different haplotypes. This is a homozygous insertion or deletion rather. Um, and we are, uh, have a SNP that separates this into two haplotypes. We can see both haplotypes clearly. Short reads also miss small variants in difficult to map regions, but HiFi reads have the link correctly for the, or the link necessary for the correct mapping and the base level accuracy necessary for variant calling. For instance, at this locus, Short reads can't be mapped over many of the exons, but HiFi reads map through the entire locus for variant detection and phasing. Again, we have a SNP that, that uh, distinguishes between the two haplotypes. Um, this locus is the STRC gene, which produces the stereocellin protein necessary for the function of sensory hair cells of the inner ear. This is just one of many medically relevant genes for which HiFi reads can be more easily mapped than traditional NGS reads. Uh, we have many examples here. This is a, a figure from the Wenger et al. paper. Um, we examined a list of 193 medically relevant genes with one or more exons that were difficult to map with short reads. For over 90% of the genes on this list, HiFi reads improve the mapping on at least some of these problem exons. And for 152 of the genes, HiFi reads were unambiguously mapped through all problem exons uh, for, at this, uh, for this gene. So we have two variant detection workflows that we recommend, one for structural variants and one for SNPs and small indels. Um, for uh, bo both of these workflows, we start with using our PBMM2 mapper. Uh, PBMM2 is a front end to the Minimap aligner, and it has optimized alignment settings for HiFi reads available with a very simple preset. Um, you can either run that from SmartLink or from the command line. Now, for variant detection, for structural variants, we recommend either using the structural variant calling application in SmartLink or the tool that's running behind this on the back end called P, uh, PBSV, which can be run from the command line. For small variants, for single nucleotide variants and small indels, we recommend using Google Deep Variant for variant detection. And I won't be discussing it today, but if you want to phase these small variants into haplotypes, you can use the WhatsApp tool. All of these are available uh, online. PBSV is available from our GitHub. You can also use, download it using PB Bioconda. Deep Variant is available from Google's uh, GitHub. Um, and WhatsApp is available on Bitbucket, um, but you can install it with Conda as well. So PBSV was originally released to support for indels of 50 base pairs or longer, as well as inversions. It works by identifying signatures of structural variation from individual reads, 
than examining all reads to call common variants and assign genotypes. In the past year, we've improved the sensitivity for large insertions and deletions, added detection for duplications and large copy number variants, and we've also simplified the parameters for, high fly, for, for calling variants from HiFi reads with the HiFi preset. Um, this will report any variant that's seen in a single read, or it's seen once, with at least 10% read support, and it's equivalent to these options passed directly to PBSD instead. Google Deep Variant is a machine learning based approach for calling small variants. It works by first using a very sensitive caller to generate a pile up, uh, to generate pilot images of candidate variant sites. So it takes a lot of information about these candidate uh, variant sites and it passes this to a convolutional neural network. And the output is genotype likelihood uh, corresponding to uh, how likely this will be uh, homozygous rough, heterozygous, or homozygous alt. Deep variant is fast and expensive. It can run on either GPU or CPU, and it can run from binaries as well as from Docker or singularity images that, they, that are created by the Google Deep Variant team. The PacBio model is trained on HiFi reads from SQL and SQL2 systems with median read quality of 99.9%, .9%, so QB30 or above. And the model is updated regularly to support our updates to chemistry and software. In the past year, there have been uh, three releases since the HiFi preprint. Google Deep Variant version 0.8.0 was the first release to have support for HiFi data. With the release of 0.9.0, the model was updated to support the uh, SQL 2 version 2 chemistry and also the CCS v4 algorithm. And in March of this year, version 0.10.0 is released with updates to the model to support calling variants from Amplicon. It's also become very easy to run deep variant. Um, with uh, Singularity or Docker, you can go from an aligned BAM to an output VCF running just this single command without installing any other dependencies other than Singularity. Uh, this example that I, that I provide on the slide should work for uh, amplicons or for a small genome. Uh, you might want to need to customize a little bit if you're going to do a whole genome sequencing or uh, any sort of, uh, for any sort of a larger genome. We can test the performance of these workflows and the HiFi data type by measuring false positives and false negatives against the truth set. The Genome and Abella Consortium has a high confidence, uh, has high confidence variance calls for both small variants and structural variants for the HD2 Ashkenazi Sun from the Ashkenazi Trio. These truth call sets can be used in combination with benchmarking tools to assay the recall, a measure of false negative, and precision, a measure of false positives for a query call set. And a perfect call set would score 100% for both recall and precision. These metrics give us an idea of how well HiFi, PBSV, and Deep Variant work to detect variants from a truth set. For the publication, we compared performance of these workflows against the benchmarks and saw diminishing returns past 15-fold coverage for single nucleotide variants and for structural variants. For indels, we saw continuing improvement past 15-fold coverage, but we recommended 15-fold as a good balance between cost and accuracy. At 15-fold coverage, we have roughly 99% recall for single nucleotide variants and 95% recall and precision for indels. And at 30-fold coverage, we see this go up to approximately 99.9% .9 recall and precision for single nucleotide variants and nearly 99% for indels. For structural variants, precision and recall nearly saturates the 15-fold coverage with a recall of around 97% and a precision of around 94%. In addition to detecting variants that have been identified by previous technology, we can use the variant calls from HiFi datasets to expand the truth set. HiFi datasets for seven genome in a bottle samples are being used to improve the benchmarks. For example, in an upcoming release, uh, benchmark release V4.1 for, for the HD2 sample, it will add around 6% reference bases about 300,000 uh, single nucleotide variants and around 50,000 indels. HiFi datasets are also being used 
uh, in the Precision FDA Truth V2 Challenge, which will focus on difficult to map regions. And this is actually happening, this, this challenge is actually uh, in progress right now and will end around the beginning of June. In conclusion, Hi-Fi reads combine the mappability of long reads with the base quality of short reads, allowing for comprehensive variant detection. For structural variants, we recommend using SmartLink or PBSV from the command line. For small variants, we recommend using Deep Variant, which has added support for amplified variants, amplified fragments, sorry. And we currently recommend 15-fold coverage for most discovery applications. Now, if you want to get your feet wet with Hi-Fi data, uh, 15 and 20 KB libraries are deposited on SRA uh, under these three bio project numbers. I'd like to thank Andrew, Pichuan, Alexi, and Maria from the Google Deep Variant team, Richard, Aaron, and Armin from PacBio, and Justin Zook, Justin Wagner, and Nate Olson from the Genome and the Bottle Consortium. And I'd like to thank you all for your time and attention.